Okay then, you lovely lot. So it's catch up time, and seeing as I haven't been fishing since 2008. Yeah, maybe nine. It's been quite a, quite a long time, actually. <laughs> uh, Jay's been busy doing all the fishing, haven't you, mate? I've done a lot of fishing. You have done lots, and you've done lots and lots of winning, to be fair. It's been good. Se September has been very profitable. It's been a steady month for you, hasn't it, mate? Not a bad one. And we're not out of it yet. Not a bad one. <laughs> but anyway, there we are, we're done. Mate's last one today, yeah, yeah. So come oh. on, catch up your fish north feet. We're just going to do, we're going to do one, aren't we? Despite yeah, lots of fishing being done, we're going to catch up on fish north. Yeah. Because it was all new and all good. Yeah. We're going to proper catch up, Rich. I'm going to talk about like the start of it as well. Brand new event that I've fished. I've only fished it once before. So it's not a brand new event I've fished really, is it? No, um, it's I've, not, Jay. I've tried once before <laughs> and had one little talk, go. Talk us through the format, because obviously there's a fish south now as well. Yes. So well, what is like qualifying matches, you've got to win one of the matches to qualify, or, no, or is it different? got to win your sections. It is. Baz Zimmerman does a lot of the running. I thought it was Baz Zimmerman's baby, but it's not. It is um, Eddie Gregory's Eddie, baby, who is the gaffer at Forest Lane. Forest Lane. What? It Baz's? No, but it's not. It's Eddie's. I thought it was Baz's. And Baz gave the credit to Eddie. Trust yeah, me. Richard. Honest. Baz is just a boss anyway, in charge stop of it. But anyway, us. mega, mega event for northern anglers, believe it or not, being fish north. Yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, but I'd say, yeah, there's a fish south version as well. The yeah. run completely separate. Um, but yeah, Fish North, it's been around third year. Scott yeah. Brady won it, bag up, third year. Third so this year. is its third year. And it is, various venues in the north, lots of lots of proper northern venues. So it's like Oaks, Oaks. isn't it? I know Oaks is one. Yeah, Linda, um, Woodland Fisk. Poppleton, pop, 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 something like that. Tolleton. Tolleton, that's one. That's yeah, right, yeah. qualified, that were right good. Oh, is it? And the, uh, loads the of venues are relatively unknown but absolutely lifting right okay like solid, so you've solid. got a win your section to qualify so 20, what is it like 20 peg zone 20 peg zone 60 you've got people win on a match <coughs> you got to yeah. win 20 peg zone right okay you're in 20 peg zone you're, you're straight through to the final no you're not Ooh, oh there's that bit to talk about as well so you have a semi-final it's not as bad as the not as bad as the yeah. fisher one right, it's a bit okay. more late <laughs> and is it on the same lake where the final's going to be and right, it's okay. two weeks two weeks week before so i can't remember two weeks before it so how many pegs is on this lake then? So it's for it. 30 peg. It is Rena in miniature. So there's like 50, your top 15 go through to the finals. Is that how they work? Yes. Yeah. 30 people okay. qualify. There's 15 qualifying matches. No, there's not. Oh, Jamie. I don't know. There's 30 people that end the qualifying for the semi. <laughs> right. So we all did that. And then we have the semi-final on Arena um, at Forest Lane Fisheries, which is, as it says, Donut Lake. It's a little Bobby Arena. Though, it's basically. a Bobby version of Arena. So can you reach with a pole and everything across? No, or? there's a 14 metre limit. Oh, right. No one fishes across. Just Unless it's... you throw a feeder, because there's that many fish. I'm going to say it is 18 metres wide. Oh, right, okay. So it's yeah, quite, yeah, yeah. quite small, but nice. Yeah. You know I mean, it's just a perfect pole fishing lake. And there are more carp in there than an aquarium. Is it ridiculous? Oh, uh, <laughs> boy. <laughs> so many carp in there. Right. It's just, I mean, obviously you've well, been fortunate uh, in that you know a lot of your good mates have you know sort of obviously qualified for the event before now. Yes. Uh, and won it as well, haven't you? So you know what you're going for, that kind of thing. Yeah, we'd seen that old bagger have been there for a couple of seasons, yeah, haven't we? So yeah. we'd sort of sorted the venue out back in how it was. Mm. But then I've fished there a lot with um, Lee Fortner have been fishing there a bit because he qualified. Oh, Matty okay. Dawes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I travelled up there quite a bit with Matty yeah. for practice matches and that. So there, there were lots of very good lads that had a good understanding so you had already of it. knowledge about it. Yeah. But it were different like In what way? It were right way. So yeah, let's go from the start. Like we, we started fishing I'm gonna say a month before the final I went and had first look. A month before the semi we had the first look. It was really busy, chaos time. Yeah yeah. yeah. I mean I had match six final, all sorts going it's on the at day the time. After one, it's something. The semi final was the day after match after. this. Yeah, so day. unfortunately that had priority. Yeah yeah. Did that too. Do you yeah. know what I mean? No brainer. So I managed one two one. I only managed one practice session before the semi-final. Semi. Yeah, I went once and he pegged it really good. It was weird. It was um, 15 people turned up for the Open, but they put a club match on the lake as well. So they put 15 of us in a row. I mean, literally 15 pegs on the bounce and then left the other half for a club match. So it'd give us a look of how it'd be. Yeah, because the semi-final was going to be every peg in. Yeah. So they put 15 of us all on 15 pegs in a row and left the other half empty for this club match. There was half a dozen of them over there. So it was every peg where we but were. One, one of the 30 in the semi... <coughs> I could have done this on my own, couldn't I? Nice and simple. Wasn't the 30 through. on the semi-final? We but this is a practice match for it. Oh, before right, it. Dave. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, go ahead, Jay. I'm with you now. I'm with right. you. So there's 15 of us in a row, so it became very similar to how it'd be. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was horrendous. Yeah. No, like, bad. But I'd never been, so it was like the well, first... Was it carnage? Was it how you'd expect it, or worse than what you'd expect then? 
yeah, it was just faster than what I expect. Right, but, okay. Do you know what it, it well, became? That's why, that's why you have them practice matches. Yeah. Isn't it? The, like. the biggest lesson that I've never known a venue like it, it's back to front. In that it's solid to start and gets worse all day. Oh, right, okay. And if you're not on it, that first hour, the biggest lesson I ever learned at Forest Lane was you uh, on Arena Lake, you have to be on it straight away, in. And if you're not on the right method to begin Just with, from you've start. lost. Right. You can never catch up because it gets worse, fish get smaller. It's what it does. And that was my first thing I, I thought with little carp, I'll go for shad pellets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't like carp pellets. Do they not? They really don't like carp pellets. I like carp like, pellets. Really, really. That's done your head in there, hasn't it? Really. <laughs> and did you get told this or like with people who can catch on our pellets anyway? Well, Matt, Matty said he was fishing maggots or paste. Paste was a big thing because Phil Sellis was winning oh, all yeah, the yeah, opens yeah. Yeah. fishing paste. Right, okay. I ain't doing that. No. You wouldn't thought it'd be quick enough, would you, like, pacing them, putting it on and... Yeah. You know what I mean? It was steady. It was good for a couple hundred pounds that they were catching. And what was pellets like then? Just not it interesting at all? It didn't move. Right, I went in with our pellets. I went too deep to start with. I went, like, top kit and half. I didn't move. So by this stage, obviously, people are I'm catching as well. 20 behind. fish behind in the first okay. half hour. Right, okay. So I'm already done. And not I what you want about. in the fish race, Jay Line. No, definitely not. And I'm, I've got a line there, a line there, a line there. Oh, a line favour. Couldn't be worse with what I was doing. Right, Horrendous. Okay. But it was first time, so it was feeling your way in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I ended up, I caught 120 odd pounds in six hours, mine. So have you sacked pellets off and then gone to Just maggots? Just maggots long right. on deck. Right. And I caught loads of fish. I probably caught the most fish. But completely Lovely. wrong stamp. You missed out on them at the start. Then. Yeah, I just missed that. I was just really, really, really bad. So, yeah, man. After that, um, made the final on the Saturday. Yeah. Set up there on the Sunday for the semi final, every peg in. And I drew an all right one on that. I drew, oh, it became an all right one. I drew in the 20s, which for a perfectly round lake, um, the, from 25 to about 30 right. was always the best bit. I think it's, it's a prevailing win. Exactly the same one there. Same as that. Really. Exactly the same. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, for yeah. that area, there's no more fish. They're just a bit bigger. All oh, right. Okay. So you get ahead of yeah, people yeah. catching a few big ones. That had been a good area, and I drew. So you got me like maggots in your mind as well. Nothing yeah. Else. Again, speaking to Matty, you know what I mean? We talked lots, me and him together. Yeah. About it was such a different lake with 30 on, because every peg chocker, yeah. it's always going to be you've got the fish are diluted. We still felt the maggots were never the right way of winning a match. But they right. were guaranteed Good way of getting catching, through. Getting through, right? Yeah, yeah, guaranteed to get through. And at that point, we hadn't, we knew nothing about the lake. Then we were rubbish. We were so far behind. But I don't believe anyone was. No one had it right because it changed again from then. But I snuck through. I had ninety pound on the semi. I came fifth with ninety pound. Right. Okay. James Howarth won it um, on twenty five, twenty six. I think he had one hundred and sixteen. Right. Oh, so you weren't far behind. Then, Wasn't you? silly. No, they were like right, four hundred okay. pounds, and then I was fifth. With 90, 90 or 95, I forget. So, dead happy. more sort of like relaxed like. fishing, though, right, innit? No, because it's the same again. Chaos. Just carnage nothing. and then nothing. Oh, right, well, okay. they, they go, they start that big and it's one a minute. And then as you go out, I'll talk about how we fish it in a yeah, bit, yeah. but they get smaller and it goes slower. It's mad, isn't it? Probably so weird, so weird. But anyway, onto the day, we fished another practice match. Yep. Me and Matty went off fish practice match. And then it had all changed to meat. Yeah, paste on meat. I ain't doing paste. So I went there, just fish meat, and I was all all lovely. I, I drew around the other side, I drew in the teens, and I fished in the edge and short all day. And great, I ticked over all day, caught loads of fish, I had 170 pounds, 169 pounds, something. And I felt it was good, I was like, I was thinking of it the wrong way, and that I was blaming that I wasn't up to scratch. Rob Swan with 230. Oh, bloody hell. Craig Eberl was next to him with 228. And I was playing. They're just doing the same thing, are they? No, no. They are just fishing me, but subtleties. You know what I mean? Making it better. Right, okay. And I was being a bit of a dick, and I was going, "Oh, they're just catching bigger fish." Right. It went. Definitely wasn't. They were. There was some bigger fish around there, but they were catching them more, better, faster. So what is it? Loose me. It's not obviously trap setting or anything like that. Well, that's what I. That's the mentality I had. I was right, going okay. in down the edge because I've had that much down the edge. It was deep enough. Yeah. And I'm just tapping four in. Or I'm throwing four in. All nice and negative. Just getting a bite. I mean, catch, I'm bagging, nice. yeah, do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? I've had 170 pounds yeah. of fish that big. Right. Yeah, it ain't yeah. slow. No. But I'm catching 40 to 60 an hour the first two hours, thinking that's good. Whereas Rob shouts up, young Rob Swan, young Rob Swan is on, I think he was on 29 or 30 that day. Yeah. And he shouted up, I've had 100 after an hour and a bit. Flipping it. Which all of a sudden, it makes you think, right, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not there yet. Not doing it positive. Mm. So spoke to Matty all week, spoke to Bennett. They were both brilliant in kicking on. Oh, Better pretty much kicked mine and Matty's ass into not being positive enough at the right time. 
I mean, it's so not when a, you're on them fish at the start, you've got to... Yeah, it's how quick. Not about being brutal playing them and all of that. It's like when I was fishing down the edge that the practice match, yeah. I'd go in, I'd wait a minute, and then want to come in, I'd get a lovely bite, all nice. Rob's waiting three seconds. Yeah, so I've gone a little bit deeper, so there's more fish in peg. So are they fishing more aggressive as well then? Obviously, heavier elastics and that, or yeah. bigger ups? That, they, they were the steps, was to massively right. increase my feed. So I've got loads of fish in my peg. Yeah, because yeah. I only fed five tins in the practice match in five hours, which is a lot of meat, but mm. it's not. Um, I was fishing a little hooks, 16 hooks, right. tiny. I mean, I ended up swapping to a 12 and a 14. You animal. Big, massive hooks. Yeah, this reach. Yeah, oh, proper yeah. no fanning about. And I swapped my elastic from the orange, which is a 12 to 14, to a yellow 14 to 16. That's what I fish that like big. Carp, isn't it? It's what I use for me, big fish. Bloody yeah. Right, but okay. It's because I never use the puller all day. In final, just I never use the puller. And you then just go in. straight through and like that, done. Right, okay. Yeah, One yeah. hit. Yeah. And that's all it became. Just so much more positive. So I drew final, I drew peg three. Steady area, but I don't honestly think it matters where you're at. You'd have been confident anywhere on there? Not so much confident on the morning, but I would now. After what you've done, right, okay. It was just yeah, about yeah. being massively positive yeah, and mom. fishing the right match. Mm. And let's say I've started, I've started on a full top kit, but, uh, but at an angle, so right on the side of my keep net. And I ended up fishing throughout the match. I fished five lines. I've gone from half a top kit to a full top kit, to a short four, to a, a long, halfway down a long four, to a full long four. So I've never gone past rich. That's ridiculous. But five it? lines, and every time you move, you get a run of like 20. So is it noticeable when the fish come in, it's like proper carnage. Oh, the you, first... you can tell when it goes quiet that you need to move them. Is yeah, it just, like that? It almost goes like done. Flipping. It. Right weird, because I'm near half a top getting I've had hundred I've had a hundred fish in the first hour and ten minutes. Oh yeah, mate. Which probably went hundred pound. No, no, they didn't. Then I've gone eighty to ninety pounds. Right. Uh, maybe hundred. Close. Ridiculous. And then the next hour I've probably caught eighty down there. You know what I mean? And then it goes slower and slower. Yeah, Every yeah. hour, last hour I've probably caught forty. So I remember Bennett when he went, he was like catching up and down on maggots when he's shallow down yeah, the middle of the when they were smaller. It's as if now all the fish live on the slope. Just come in and just want to eat. And... Yeah, some of the lads ended up going, uh, last hour you'd fish maggots long on bottom Yeah. In, in the flat where it's deep. I never had to do that. Right. I fed it slightly, I went on it, didn't catch one. And have you stayed on meat? Have you switched it to maggots as I, well? I've stayed on meat. Just stayed on meat. Quick go on maggots, got one but didn't like it and yeah. I thought, I can still get bites on meat. Mm. Just by... Catched on meat, got. Catched on meat, got. Meat, got. Everyone was like six inches deeper. Right. But you get another run. It's nuts, isn't it? You and talked it, about that loads and loads, haven't you? Especially on the snake lakes and having that three rigs for like the different depths. Yeah, this was I mean? the extreme of it. It's nuts. Like a float deeper and you go from not a bite on that bit of grass there to six inches past, float deeper, Why? 20 and 20 chucks. Why, Jamie? I don't know. Just, they just want to hang back a bit, don't they? And the bait you're feeding, because you're feeding on top of your float, so most of it does end up past. I mean, you're naturally pushing them there with your feed. You try and feed short all the time to keep yeah. them in your peg, but it naturally falls that way. Your bait wants, because it's quite steep as well, so your bait naturally wants to fall. So when the competition isn't there, and when it's not getting cleared up like it is yeah, on your yeah, top yeah, kit yeah. to start with, yeah. it, you push them out. Yeah. I mean, slowly, and you just edge out, edge out, edge out, and just That's keep going. brilliant fishing, though, that, mate. It, Did you know you'd done well? Because obviously you'd have been having your head down, wouldn't you? You wouldn't have been able to look down what's going on. The, the only way I knew I'd done well is the first time I counted my fish all the way through. And I knew again, Rob, uh, young Rob Swan, a week before, said he'd caught, what did he say? What, how many did I catch? Yeah. How many fish did I have? I had, no, you, no, did no, he, he, he had similar numbers to me. I think he had 300 fish. I'm sure Rob had 300 fish. Right, when he had the 200, I'll wait. Yeah, and I've ended up with 295 oh, fish. Oh, so you knew, yeah, yeah. So that's the only way I thought, I've got 200 pound. Yeah. I mean, I'm in the same area of the lake. I just thought I had 200 pound, and I did. So I was all good, I weighed 230 pound, which were, I think it was 40 pound clear. So Matty was second. Fish, it? What's that, 60, 70 fish? Depends what hour you're catching. No, but blooming net, mate. It's a lot of fish clear. It's a lot of fish, in it? It's 40 fish potentially Obviously clear. You and Matty have sorted it out, haven't you? De you know what I mean? Not so much sort. We've been sorted. Were you at different areas of the lakes as well? Yeah, Matty's over there, I'm here. Oh, right, okay. And he's come second off. <clears throat> I'd say the only reason Matty's not caught as much as me, I think there's a few bigger fish where I am. And uh, as well, the wind was awkward for them. All oh, right. Because okay. it was amazing as well. Flicking that rig on the slope, if it weren't tight and perfect, didn't get a bite. The on the cave, didn't get a bite. Get up on the cave. So I think that's why they struggled right, over there. Yeah, when it went harder up. later on, it was just a bit messy. Otherwise, Matty would have caught the same as me. Oh, would he? Yeah, just he knew positive and it was mega, mega, mega. Oh, mate, it's awesome. So another so, another big check for you, innit? Was another big fat check and they give us a big fat check. So oh, we like that, but awesome. no, it was mega. 
It was so mega. It's an event that you'd like definitely go for again next year. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think it's going to expand a bit and it could potentially be a Midlands it's, it's one as Midlands. well. Midlands, I know there should be, shouldn't it? Maybe. There? But yeah, mega, mega events. I proper enjoyed the new venue aspect. I love that. Yeah. Forest Lane was brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Far too lively for and the fat place kids, though. qualified as well. Tolerton. Far too what? Lively. Lively. Because <laughs> you're kids. so busy in the fishing. Mate, I could, <laughs> I, I could do that like <laughs> once, once every year. fortnight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After the push, after that, I need a rest. <laughs> Some of them lakes from there in that area, there's loads, isn't there? I'm going to say there's five or six lakes in that same area, and they're like all ridiculously solid. solid with fish, aren't they? Yeah, there's Tolerton. Obviously, you've got your oaks and all that, haven't you? Thingy, that forest lane, there's more fish within, whatever that is. What we're going to say is, it's probably half a mile square, the whole fishery. There's more fish it's in that half a mile than anywhere on the planet. Blooming that, Jay. <laughs> no, awesome, mate. It, it's unbelievable. What a fish, and it was mega. I mean, yeah. they, they put us the night before, they had a draw at in the back of, um, of Eddie's house. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful, all looked after, brilliant. Oh, awesome. Lovely, lovely, lovely little event. That will hopefully grow lots of lots. Another one for you. Another big check for him, Richard. Big trophy as well. Did you? Got a big, lovely glass one. Stick a photo on the M, Rich, like that. <laughs> it was beautiful. <laughs> big check in one hand, yeah. trophy in the other. I like a big trophy. So oh, yeah, well then. That will fish north, but now it is time for silvers.